This video will contain minor spoilers and it's about the authority misconception that I see a lot of people talking about so I wanted to clear it up. As you can see from the thumbnail, I have Regulus and Echidna who both at one point had the authority of greed which arose from their witch factor of greed. Likewise, we know that Subaru does possess the sloth witch factor as did Sekhmet and Beetlejuice respectively. And as we all know, in the anime, Sekhmet and Beetlejuice both can use the Unseen Hand. So the common idea is that due to Sekhmet and Beetlejuice displaying the skill of the Unseen Hand, that means Subaru will gain the same ability. Now that is the crux of the misconception, that if you gained a Witch Factor, you would gain the authority that an Archbishop has. So for example, if Subaru got the Gluttony Witch Factor, he would then be able to eat names and memories. However, we do know that this isn't true. While Subaru does gain the Unseen Hand from the Sloth Witch Factor, he doesn't gain the Stillness of Objects Time from his Greed Witch Factor, and instead he gains Core Leonis. And Tape has stated in a Q&A, as seen on screen right now, that witch factors adapt to the person and then manifest their power accordingly. Of course, this also means that if Subaru gained the lust witch factor, that doesn't mean he can change and transform himself into Amelia, for example. He might just get an unrelated power, like being able to attract lollies to himself. For those that have read the web novel, I'm sure this video is obvious to you because Minerva and Sirius, for example, have different authorities which do different things. And Echidna's authority is based on her book of wisdom and the ability to produce items. Hopefully this has cleared up the misconception, but in summary, the witch factor you obtain does not reflect the authority you get from it, so don't be shocked in the future if Subaru can't eat people's memories or transform into Amelia for example. Anyways, thank you for watching.